Hello, Short Me Tina once again from shortmetina.com doing a video recap for ticker HMNY. Right now what you're looking at is a daily chart dating back to um, mid-March. So I've done a couple of videos on HMNY, full disclosure, I am long HMNY, not as a day trade, I don't day trade, not as a swing trade either, but as a long-term hold because I believe that if the company can actually get its finance under control, if it can you know, get the company in order or write the ship and the business model that they're uh, proposing actually uh, takes off and works, then this stock can be very valuable or this company rather can be very valuable in the future. With that said, again, I've done a s several videos on HMNY and despite being in the stock, right, because I'm in the stock not for, for fun, uh, rather not for technical reasons, but for fundamental reasons. And I indicated that the chart is broken. Like the, the I did, I was not sugarcoating it. Again, despite being long, I'm being completely honest. You know, I'm not trying to hype up the stock. I'm not trying to pump the stock. The stock is fundamentally broken. And even though we sit here at around uh, 49 cents, I think that there. Hence why, uh, you know, I when I initially bought, I only bought a small lot, right? I bought a small lot because I was anticipating further downside. Now granted, um, you know what, I wouldn't even say that 49 cents is a surprise to me. I would not be surprised if this stock at some point traded for pennies on the dollar, right? So HMNY, if you're on the long side, uh, hopefully you're not still in it from anything above $5 because if you are you know, a technical trader, there were multiple signs in particular here, right? Let me show you this right here. Again, there was multiple sign, especially dating back to May, the beginning of this month, when the stock broke multi, multi-year support, right? At that point, although I tried to buy the dip, I knew that this stock completely was out of shape, right? So, if you're a technical trader, you should have gotten out of this trade, I would say, when it broke $2. Um, if you're on the sidelines and you're looking to get in, I wouldn't even rush and jump to get in at this point. Look at these candles here. Or rather, well, yeah, you can look at these long red candles, which indicates a huge spread, massive selling. Look at volume on above average volume for one, two, three, like eight or nine out of the past 13 days. Whatever is going on, people are unloading. On Honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised, you know, if they, again, let me not say that. But again, based on the chart, my overall point and gist of this video is not to rant, but is to say that HMNY stock is fundamentally broken. Uh, if you are in this trade and like me, you're in it for fundamental reasons, then hold on tight. It's going to be a bumpy ride. If you are in it for technical reasons on the long side, this is not a chart technically to go long. All signs are pointing to a continued downtrend. If you're on the sidelines, I would say there's no rush in jumping in, right? Wait till the stock settles, establish some sort of a base, and then take it from here. Right now, there there's nothing but continuous unloading. Um, and I have not seen any bullish signs. I have not seen signs that the stock uh, is stabilizing. Granted, uh, back here, we, we saw some sideway action, but I knew that was just going to be a continuation for the stock to continue to roll over. So HMNY, a little bit all over the place with this video, but I just wanted to give folks an update if they think that, you know, the stock is going to bounce back to 2 or $3 at any minute. Absolutely not. Something's going on. Just look here. Volume selling. Long red candle selling. You don't need to know, you know, particularly what's going on in the company. All you have to do is look at the chart and you'll know that something has gone wrong. So that's my take on HMNY. If you're long fundamentally, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Technically, it's not a chart to go long because there's still selling going on. And if you're on the sideline, no need to rush in. Patience, always key in trading. Wait until the stock stabilizes and then you pick your entry point and then you jump in. So that's my take. Short Me Tina from shortmetina.com. Head on over to shortmetina.com. If you like this video, follow me on YouTube. I do have a channel. Also too, head on over to shortmetina.com. Sign up. Become a member. Thank you for listening. And those, and as always, thank you for the support.